Today I'm going to demonstrate an extension from the Chrome Web Store called Draftback. So if we go to the Chrome Web Store and we search for Draftback, we can find it here. Now I've already installed this on my Chrome browser, which is why I'm just being offered the rate it button here. If you haven't already installed it, you'll have a button saying install now. Now how can I tell that I have installed Draftback? When I open up any Google document, here next to the comments button, you'll find there's a button saying Draftback. And what Draftback does, it accesses the revision history of Google documents. So on this column here, we can see all the dates and times when revisions have been made to the document. This is what Draftback accesses. So let's see how Draftback works. If I click draft back, what it will do, it will take a few moments to load however many revisions there are here. And we can see on this document there are 10,517 revisions. So it will take quite a bit of time, maybe two or three minutes, possibly faster, depending on your internet connection, to load all of these draft backs. Now, while this is loading and it's saying it's going to take eight minutes, and don't worry, this video won't be eight minutes long. When it's loading these, what I'm going to do is show you some of the limitations. Now this essay here has been shared with me with full editing privileges, which is why I can see the draft back working. If I go to a different document, this document is shared in view only, and the draft back unavailable is grayed out here, telling me that it won't work. So when you have a view only document, you also cannot access revision history, which means draft back won't work. This document here is suggesting or commenting it hasn't been shared as an editor. And again, draft back is unavailable and we can see revision history is unavailable. So for draft back to work, you need to have the document shared with you as an editor, not view only and not commenter. Here we can see the preview is telling us there's about a minute left. So we've almost finished doing all these revisions. We can see here it's finished and it's now offering us an option of view. So when I click on view, it opens a new tab and we can start to see all the other person's writing in the text, including the deletions. And we can see this happening in real time because up on here in the right hand side, we can see the clock giving us the date when this was typed, the time when this was typed. Uh, we've got controls over here to go backwards or forwards. We can pause it, we can play it again, we can pause it, we can scroll through the document. And there's also some documents and graphs we can open up and it gives us some summary, timeline of the activity, dates when most of the activity was taking place, what were the changes. We can see the user, how many revisions they've made at that particular date and time. So there's a lot of metrics that we can actually get here for Draftback. So that's Draftback. I hope you find it useful.